Hi everyone, this is a call to repentance and unity. For you know, beloved, that you, who is literally following a cult when it comes to Jehovah Witnesses, when it comes to the Catholics, when it comes to the Lutherans, when it comes to the Mormons, whatever it is. If you say that you truly believe in Jesus Christ, if you say that Jesus Christ truly is your Lord and Savior, Therefore, leave your cult, turn back to him, run back to him, so that you may not burn into the fire, so that you may not burn in hell. As you know, beloved, there is an agenda that is pushed by the Pope himself, who is the high priest of Satan, and whose synagogue is the Vatican. And if you keep following his doctrines, his teachings that are not biblical, as you know, you may go to hell with him, with his master Satan and the fallen angels and demons and evil spirits yourself. For you know, my friends, that Jesus Christ will return soon. We do not know the time. We do not know the day, but he will soon return. And if you don't put everything right with God, if you don't walk right with God by repenting of your sins, by not renewing your minds not to be conformed to the pattern of this world, then you shall perish to hell. So again, my friends, this is a call to be united in the body of Christ, for there is one body, and Jesus Christ himself is the head of the church, no one else. There is no pope no preacher or whatever, not even myself. Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through Him. You may have heard it so many times, but still you don't acknowledge it in your spirit. And this is why you're still deceived, my friends. You are still deceived by the lies of Satan and you are just following the world. Narrow is the path, my friends, that leads to salvation. Salvation is just not once for all. It's not just we are saved once and that's it. No, you have to work for it. We are saved by faith. But the extension of our faith is good works. And if you're going to the opposite, then you may go to the wrong direction that will lead you to hell. If you're not praying to God because he says to us to pray and fast and, and be steadfast. Therefore, the enemy would not come to infiltrate our minds, our soul, and twist the truth, which is the word of God. So again, beloved, do not trust in man. Do not trust in the flesh, but trust in the Lord only, for it will never ever lead you astray. He will never ever lie to you for you know that God is not a man to lie and God is not a man to repent that everything that he promises shall come to pass. So again, repent of your sins, my friends. Repent. Walk right with God. Ask for his forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. So that you may hear his voice again and turn away from your sins. Pray against this Sunday law because as you know, God, our Heavenly Father has given to our Master, Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, all power and authority over heaven and earth. And this is the inheritance of the children of God. This is the inheritance of the servants of the Lord to take over the powers of darkness by the weapons, by the spiritual gifts that God himself gave us. So we have to play our own part. We have to do our own part, my friends. Do not wait on God to come and save you. If you do not do your part, you'll be judged. You will be judged because all of us, we have to give an account to Him. He will literally divide the sheep from the goats. Are you a part of the goats? Or are you a part of a sheep? Because as you know, by His blood, we are cleansed but you may be corrupted again if you follow the goats and the knowledge all the teachings doctrines of the goats 
to sh change your life, to shift your mind, to embrace this world and not the word of God. So again, pray to the Lord. Ask His Holy Spirit to reveal you all things, to teach you all things. So that you may no longer be deceived by the tricks of the enemy. So stay blessed in the Lord. And I pray, my friends, that you will make the right decision and take out of you your pride and everything that prevents you from getting your deliverance from the earthly things. <laughs>